my name is Dirk Van Rienen, and I'm the, the founder and a partner in Marist Adventure Park. What is Marist, and then what kinds of activities can people find out there? We offer uh, hiking, mountain biking, and off-roading and overlanding. It's the, it's the kind of design where you can hike and have a, a, an amazing experience. You can mountain bike and have an amazing experience, and you can go off-roading and overlanding and having an amazing experience. And then to kind of bind that all together, you know, we really wanted to create some amazing campsites that you can choose to camp on the rim or down in the canyon. First question, because I think this is really important to cover. Can you go off-roading anywhere you want to in the canyon? Neither state park allow you to go off-roading. And then the rest of the, the canyon is privately owned lands. Uh, Marist Adventure is the only place that you can go, uh, that public or members of our park can go and off-road in Paladora Canyon. So you've got 50 miles of trails right now, and you've got a plan to get up to 120 miles worth of trails out there. How many trails do you have, and what is the rating system like? Uh, so right now we've got, uh, probably got around 20, four trails right now. We actually use the, the kind of rating system that, is, that a ski area uses. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so we've got uh, green circles for our beginner trail. We've got blue squares for our intermediate. We've got black diamonds for our advanced trails, double black diamonds for our expert trails. And then we've got purple hexagon for what we call just like our full on crazy trails. Um, right now, the mix between green, blue, and black is probably about 90% of all the trails. We've got, uh, I think, three double black trails, and then we're just bringing online our first purple trail. Um, we're opening it in two weeks. We are really matched for that 60% in the middle that, um, you know, that has a, a, a four-wheel drive vehicle that wants to come out and wants to play. And they're not necessarily looking for like the most hardcore thing on earth that they can find. And they're also not looking for just like, I want to drive down a straight dirt road that has nothing on it. Right? So, right. Um, so that's how we design our trails, right? And um, we've got trails that, that are that are fairly easy. Like if, if you only did the greens on uh, on the rim, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's fairly chilled out. When you go down into the canyon, you, you're on the one on one and you actually go into the, the drop in, right? And, and the drop in should really be rated more like a blue because it, it is steep. It's not something that's undoable. I mean, you got to maintain your speed and everything, but we really wanted to create trails that uh, challenge people. And that doesn't mean like put you in a dangerous situation or tear your vehicle up, but, you know, challenge you, meaning that, oh my gosh, like, okay, this is this is a little bit more than I thought it's going to be. And uh, with, with our trail building crew, we've got an ex extremely experienced trail building crew. So the, this crew really understands what vehicles are capable of at what angles of being off camber or um, you know the, the angle of uh, approach, departure, all that kind of stuff so that we can really build the trail so that we can say, look, if you go on this trail with that vehicle, you're gonna be just fine. Most people that, that come out um, are probably in the class of their vehicle is more capable than what they know and what their skill level allows for, right? So we really like it because again, the reason we've got adventure behind our name, behind Maris, and it's not just Maris Park, is that we want people to experience adventure. And when I think of all the adventures I've had in my life, adventure doesn't happen when things are like when you're in your comfort zone and things feel ultra safe. That's not adventure. That's just being safe in your comfort zone, right? Adventure happens when you get outside of your comfort zone and you're like, oh my gosh, that was intense. Like, woo, you know, and you get that little shot of adrenaline and you're like, you're like, yeah, that was cool. You know, like that's adventure. And so whether you're on a green trail, blue, black, double black, whatever it is, that's what we want people to experience. Like we want them to have that little shot of like, whoa, that was actually kind of cool. Like we don't think of Maris Adventure as like um, a, a park where you can buy a day pass and you go wheel, right? Again, for us, it's about creating experience of connection. It's that adventure. It's that you're getting outside of your comfort zone. You're doing something that you ordinarily wouldn't do. And when you leave here, you've got that extra shot of confidence and clarity in your mindset of now when you're engaging your family, your business, your job, like whatever it is, you just have a little bit more edge because you spent two or three days at Maris. Like that's what, what again, what we're about here. So we really try to reflect that in everything that we do, including the trail building. I could definitely tell that the trails have been designed for a lot of different kinds of vehicles. And I think that that's one of the great things about it is it's not just a Jeep park, right? I can go out there in a Forerunner. I can go out there in a GX. I can go out there in a Tacoma. There's a lot of different vehicles that are gonna find your trails a lot of fun. So let's talk about the trails. What is your favorite green trail? Uh, the 101 is definitely the favorite, my favorite green trail. I mean, it's just, uh, it's, it's a beautiful drive. I mean, we, uh, you know, usually at least once a week, our family just jumps in the Jeep and we just cruise down the 101 and stop at a creek and go kind of play with the kids and whatever the case may be. But I mean, the 101 is definitely my favorite green. 
if someone goes out to your place to Ameris Adventure Park and they're new and they want to start experiencing what it means to off-road or to overland, I would tell them to go down Maris 101. That is a great way to just dip your toe in the off-road waters and really start to experience what it's like. Because it's not a trail where, you know, you're gonna get high-sided or you're gonna, you know, slide off the trail and get stuck in a ditch. It's a relatively safe, confined trail, but it's got some technical aspects to it that people will find entertaining and they'll find it challenging if they don't have the experience. This is one of the things that we love about this piece of property is there, there are places here, and, and again, like people that, that are probably watching this and, and have never been here, they're just like, okay, like you guys are full of it, right? But there are places here where all of a sudden you look up and you're like, am I in Moab right now? Like I am literally, I am on sandstone. Everything is kind of red around me. This must be Moab. And then 10 minutes later, you're like, okay, I must be in Sedona now because there's a lot more green trees and this. And then the next thing, we've got places where you truly feel like you're in Colorado. You know, and then the next thing you're you're in sand, and you know that's one of the things that I love about this property is the the variety of what you're going to deal, with. and and that's why I do think that you know this is such a good place to come hone your off-road skills. It really is the idea that you can have an overlanding experience here. You know, and that's what people don't understand. Like they're like, oh, you can't go overlanding in in a private park, and it's just like really like I think you should come here and try it out because. You know, we, we have had groups that said, hey, we we're, we want to wheel for four days, camp for three nights, but we want to be in different spots and not run the same trails. Okay, no problem. It's so incredible that you've been able to create this kind of true overlanding experience in Texas, where like you said, people can go drive for days and not drive the same trail. They don't stay in the same spot each night. They won't see a lot of people while they're out on the trail. Maybe they won't see anyone when they're out on the trail. That is, uh, I think, the probably the truest overlanding experience that we have here available in Texas. And what about your favorite blue trail? Yeah, the, the VR4 North is definitely um, my favorite now. We, we did just downgrade Lonesome Dove from a black to a blue, and it is amazingly fun. So I would say the VR4 North is, is my favorite rim blue, and then uh, Lonesome Dove is my favorite uh, uh, blue down in the canyon. What about your favorite black trail? Um, so for me, that has to be the Bergfall Trail. And uh, the, the Bergfall Trail is, is, is really kind of a special trail to me. That was the first trail that we started working on. It's, it's an incredibly challenging trail. I mean, we've, we've had some serious breakdowns because it's a it's a black, double black variation trail. So there are some sections that you can take the, the black bypass or you can hit it as a double black. So it's it's definitely a hairy trail. That's awesome. What is your favorite expert trail? Yeah, so we have a trail called uh, Log Cabins that is really amazing. It's a double black um, and it, it really has a very deep Moab feel. So there's a lot of the just the, the rock, the red the red sandstone, things like that on, on that trail. Um, it's not actually mapped yet. So we're, we're about to um, actually add it to our map, but it's called Log Cabins. And I mean, it's a really fun trail. It's, it's, it's very uh, engaging. You know, one of the things that I noticed about your park out there is just how well uh, everything is marked. The signage out there on the trails is great. You provide everybody with these, you know, maps, uh, not only of the trails, but also of the campsites. And, you know, you've done a great job of really making it easy for people to get around on the property, which I really appreciate because I've been to several other places where you're looking around and you're like, wait a minute, where am I? Is this the right spot? Am I headed in the right direction? But if I want to come out to Maris Adventure Park, whether it's for the day or for a couple of days, like what's the best way to do that? So if you go to uh, marisadventure.com, it's really easy to book your day passes. Um, you can book, uh, reserve your, your camp spot, book a tour, whatever the case may be make it really easy for people to, to do that. The other thing too uh, that you could consider is to actually get a uh, Maris membership. And typically we sell one year memberships that allow 365 day access to the park as a member. Um, but we also have added a lot of perks to that. We've got special member weekends where we bring all of our members together that has free camping, we provide food, we have trail runs, uh, a you know, whether it's off-road, mountain biking, hiking. And really we just bring the community together from, from all over the state of Texas and outside of the state. We've got members that are, that are from two, three states away and bring them together to connect with like-minded people. So that, that's also a cool experience. And then, um, you know, starting in, in 22, we've got about 10 events that are already scheduled to happen at the park. Anything from mountain biking type events to uh, off-roading, overlanding, camping type events where, um, you know, you could really come here and just hang out with like-minded people and enjoy the park together, meet them. So, and, you know, we do weekend tours. On, on Saturdays, we, we typically do guided tours and we do a, a green and a blue tour. And the green tour starts off by just running the green trail over to Hetz's Bluff and kind of checking that out and then coming back um, and then running the 101, right? That, I mean, that is our, our green tour. We stop for lunch along the way. It usually takes about uh, five hours to do that tour. And, 
you know, people love it because it's engaging enough where you're not going to ever be bored. We're, we're actually launching a professional off-road driving school in uh, the start of Q2 next year. You know, people can come here and um, get anything from the pure basics to, you know, recovery, advanced recovery, advanced wheeling, like all of this kind of stuff where with what you learn here, you can go explore with confidence anywhere else. If I'm coming out to the park for the first time, what advice do you have for me? Yeah, I mean, just realize that still at this point, we're very primitive, right? So if, you, if you're, we're starting some more infrastructure. So, um, you know, by March of 2020, 2022, we will have, um, you know, our new office built with a bathhouse, uh, 10 full hookup RVs sites. So there, there's going to be a little bit more amenities. But if you're coming before that, just realize, like, once you get out here, it's real primitive, right? There's no, there's no gas station out here. The closest gas station is about, you know, 15 miles away. Um, you know, we, we do have some some access to water. So if you run out of water and you just need water, we can, we you know, there's, we've got plenty of well water. Um, but, you know, there's not like a, a quick, uh, oh, I'm just going to go over here to the little cafe and buy some food or anything like that. So if you're coming out to Maris, especially for a multi-day trip, like you got to be self-sufficient all the way. So that's that's the first thing. The second thing is um, just understand that it's, it's rugged and um, you, you, you got to kind of be prepared for that. I mean, it's not a it's not a five star resort. I mean, even even our campsites still like, you know, you're going to maybe find some cactus, you know, here and there and things like that. And Kind of like you said, like you, you kind of get to the campsite and you're like looking around and you're like, oh my gosh, like I'm in the middle of nowhere and I'm alone right now. So <laughs> it's, it's one of those things like uh, just be prepared that it's it's not uh, it's not like a state park where they got paved roads everywhere and like, you know, all the necessities and there's plenty of people. Like, I mean, if you come out here, you're coming out here because you want a premium rugged outdoor experience, right? Um, the other thing too is that uh, we would encourage people, even people that are off-roaders, is man, go for a hike while you're out here. Like we have some some areas that you'll never see from a vehicle that are exceptional so you know maybe think about going for a, a hike moving your body a little bit um, and yeah just uh, just try to familiarize yourself with the property a little bit before you get here you can do that on our website marisadventure.com um, you know make sure that you know you definitely grab a map don't just don't just take off and think that you're going to you know find your way around because things are marked and things like that but I mean all of a sudden you can get down the canyon and start driving in the wrong direction and then it gets dark and then you're in a bad you know it's, it's one of those things that you want a little bit of a game plan before you just head out into the park. You don't want to head out just like, oh, I'm just going to explore for the fun of it. Like you could do that if you are that kind of person, you have that kind of gear and that kind of experience and you're ready to that, hey, if I get stuck in a creek and it's dark, I'm going to spend the night here and I'm fine with that. So um, if, if that's your style, you can do that too. But I mean, it's, it's like, look, have a little bit of a game plan, know what your, your intentions are when you come out here. If I wanted to get more information, do you have a website? Do you have social media platforms? Where can I go get additional information online? Yeah, so uh, our website's probably the best source, marisadventure.com. And you can find us on Instagram, at Maris Adventure, and at Facebook, forward slash Maris Adventure. So, you know, obviously amazing off-roading, you've got great camping options, you've got hiking, you've got biking. I can't recommend enough. People go out and check out Maris Adventure Park. I had a great time. I wanna go back, uh, but I had a, just a, such a tremendous time. And I really feel like this is a, a true overlanding gem in Texas. It's something that we don't have. Um, and so you really have a unique piece of property out there. Dirk Van Reenen, thank you so very much for joining us. I appreciate you talking to us about what Maris Adventure Park is. For anybody that is looking at this or thinking about going out to Maris Adventure, I can't say enough about how amazing this place is, how beautiful it is, how rugged it is, the kinds of experiences that you offer on this property. It's just second to none when it comes to overlanding in Texas. I really appreciate your time today. I wish you the best of luck. Well, Kelly, I, I've certainly enjoyed the conversation. Um, you know, thank you for, for doing this as well. It's, it's been fun to visit with you. And especially since you've been out here already, I think, you know, that's what makes the conversation special is that you, you get it, you've been out here. So I appreciate your questions, your thoughtfulness, and, and really appreciate that and hope to see you back soon. Absolutely, I will be out. Best of luck to you.